made the threatening calls. Right now, investigators are looking into bomb threats at two Treasure Coast schools. The first four students to be evacuated from Treasure Coast High School in Port St. Lucie. A short time later, a bomb threat was called into Storm Grove Middle School. Katie Johnson spent the day at that middle school and has details on how the calls were made. The sheriff here in Indian River County telling me it's going to be very difficult to track down whoever's behind the threatening phone calls made here to Storm Grove Middle and Treasure Coast High School. Both, he says, were made through a computer, forcing the two schools to be evacuated. The first call came here to Treasure Coast High School in Port St. Lucie around 11 a.m. They told everyone to evacuate the school, and I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know if that was happening. Tense moments for student Lexi Dreyer and hundreds of others sent outside while authorities searched the entire campus. They didn't specify where the bomb was or when it was going to go off or anything that would indicate a certain location on campus. Within two hours, the campus cleared. Some students going home with their parents who stood outside nervously waiting for the news. I'm just happy that uh, my daughter's safe and everything is okay. Tom Yates waited in a long line at Sebastian River High School for his daughter Amber. Amber goes to Storm Grove Middle School, which received a bomb threat just minutes after Treasure Coast High. Lines at Disney World are long. This was like a Disney World line, but the prize is better. So, though they were relieved to know it was all a hoax, parents were unhappy their kids' school day was disrupted this way. I think it's sick. Yeah, somebody that gets uh, joy and pleasure out of uh, seeing you know children, you know, scared and their parents scared for them. It's, it's the world needs a lot of help. Both school districts sent out a robocall to parents today to let them know what was happening. And this is actually the last week of class for St. Lucie County schools. Next week will be the last week here in Indian River County. And despite the disruption to testing today, I'm told those students in St. Lucie County will not have an additional day added on to their school year. In Vero Beach, Katie Johnson, WPTV News Channel 5.